Yo, 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 YouTube, back with another video. I'm really excited for today's video. This is the main reason why I got into cards. I am a Brett Favre Super Collector, and I like buying the lots. For me, it's like buying a hobby box, not knowing what's in it. And uh, so I have an example of that today. So I think this is about 250 cards. I got it for 30, I want to say $36. I'll, I'll put the graphic on the screen there. But anyway, it ended up being a little bit under 15 cents a card, I think. So actually better than my target price I normally try to get these lots for. Haven't had any success lately as cards have gone up. I've been harder. It's been harder to find bigger lots that hit my target buy price. But I think this is going to be a good one. Now there were some photos showing many of the cards. I didn't really look at them. The price was good. I bought it and I thought it would be a lot more fun to open it with you today and see what's in it. See if, what kind of opportunity we have. Or if there, if there's anything for my PC. That would be great as well. At the end of the video I've got a, a little surprise for you. I'm going to show you my uh, giant binder of far rookie cards. I have about 500 of them. I just keep hoarding them. And I've been asked a lot about, on the channel about um, the why don't I sell far rookie cards. And I don't for a few reasons, and I'll show you that, tell you why later in the video. It's pronounced hoarder, and yes you are. Okay, so this is how the package came in. It's a, it's in a uh, bubble priority mail envelope. I'm just gonna cut that open, and I'm pretty sure it's just in a card box on the inside. Oh, it's in a. It is. Um, Okay, so it's in a 1991 half of a complete set baseball box. So you never know what you're going to get sometimes in the mail. That that too. And then, uh, looks like he just taped a Farf card on the end of it, you know, top loader. So it's kind of interesting. Let's go set ahead and see if we can... not exactly sure how we're going to open this, but we'll see... Looks like I'm going to have to kind of cut down, down this side here. Get this to fold open. There we go. That's what happens when you do live TV. You never know what's going to happen, right? Just like the Oscars. Okay, so yeah, it looks like this is just taped on the end to sort of hold all the cards in. Alright, so here we go. 250 cards. Now as I go through these, I'll point out what I believe you know, has some, some better value. And uh, you know, hopefully we do pretty well. So here's a 420 card. That's going to go bo in my box of to be auctioned 420 stuff. we got some base upper deck, some score... This is actually a promo card. See how it doesn't have a number on it? It just says back to school on the top there. These are actually a little more rare. They also don't have the foil on them. Normally it would have some foil up here for the name. Oh yeah, send away, he says. Interesting. So that's a pretty good one. Here's a superpowers insert. This is nice. This is Brett Fires. This is an LDR, so this is a limited edition replay. Actually, literally just sold one of these last week. I think for ten bucks, I want to say I got. So this is from Motion Vision. So I mean, that's a third. This is a, a third of the value of the box right there. I could sell. I think I got ten. It might have been eight. I'll throw a graphic on the screen showing the sale. Uh, game dated. Those are don't come up very often. There's a contender, some upper deck. Looks like you put all the sideways cards, if you want to call them that. All the um, 
the horizontal cards he put all together on this one end. So this is a nice little insert. This is Thunder and Lightning with Drilling Sharp. These were out of Skybox Premium in 96, 97. Let's see if we can see a year on there. 93. So a second year far essentially. So super cool. That's going to have some nice value. And here's a Chrome 420. Here's a nice little insert. Sunday's best out of old eight classics. And this is numbered out of a thousand. So numbered cards always acceptable. And this is the 98 SPX. Or is this is this 98? Yeah, no, 08. 08 SPX. Those do pretty well. Nice die cut card. A little higher premium. Brand. Here's another Chrome 420. Um, that's nice. 95 Flare. Nice premium brand. More score. Some upper deck. Early Ultra. 93 Ultra. Those do pretty well. This one is a good one. This is uh, 90, just 95 Pinnacle, but it's the Super Bowl card show parallel. So it's got this Dufex foil on it. And uh, it's 6 of 15 from the Club Collection. And it's got the Super Bowl card show. Whoops. Super Bowl card show stamp on the bottom. These have become, this kind of stuff has become more popular. Like cards from older Nationals where it would have the National stamp on it. Those have become more popular as more and more people are getting into card shows. And that's become uh, a real part of the hobby these days. Now that we can all get out of our houses again. So this is a, a parallel electric silver. Base upper deck. Pro line live. I always like this card, the card with the trophy. You don't see a lot of cards of him in a suit. <laughs> um, these do pretty well because of the Jets. There wasn't a lot of Jets cards of him made. This is a base action pack. This is a insert. This is Fantasy Forecast. So these were kind of, I don't know if you've seen these cards or if I've shown these cards before, but these were kind of cool. So they have, these are supposed to kind of predict how he's going to rank in passing in that season or whatever. But it's got this little uh, heat sensor disc on the top. And if you hold your thumb and forefinger on there for a little while, it reveals what the forecast of uh, him in his position is going to be for the year. So they say they predict the 17th top player in the league. And then obviously as that cools down, it turns back to black. So kind of a cool Cool, kitschy little thing. This is another insert. This is Quarterback Club. Extreme close-up version. <laughs> um, so, so far so good. We've gotten a few premium brand stuff. Got some inserts. Got some serial numbered. I mean, you can't go wrong for 15, 15 cents a card. Easy turnarounds. Uh, here's some early Elite. Ovation. I always liked Ovation with the, the texture on the card of the football. Top stars. Don't see a lot of those. This is the I believe this is a parallel. I think this is the silver. I think there's two different versions of this card. Anyway. Uh, that's the regular version of the Fury tops. Here's another one of those. Quarterback clubs. These are cool. You don't see these real often. This is the adrenaline, which was like a trading card game. This is from 2010 in the Vikings uniform, so nice to add a few of those to the store whenever I can get them. There's another action pack. 2010 Contenders. Here's another one of those fantasy ones. Um, oh, eight great iron gear in the Jets. Okay, here's our first rookie card. So there is rookie card, at least. <laughs> Maybe there's more than one, but... I always liked this one. It was never really recognized as a rookie card for the longest time. 
because he has three different cards in this set. This is kind of nice with the other prospects. It's got a little um, rookie checklist on the back. You can see him there. His base high numbers rookie card is number 647. Four contenders. Stadium Club 93. Here's a 2000 Chrome. And this is the um, special insert one, or the promotional one, I believe, CP5. So that's good. Those don't come up very often. The gold, 2000 private stock. These are nice, the uh, inside playmakers, the ESPN cards. They do pretty well on these when they, when they sell. This is just kind of an insert to promote the Insider Magazine. So... A lot of people didn't hang on to these, but if you look at sort of some of today's popular inserts, they they kind of fit with that that magazine cover looking, you know, intense look <laughs> type of thing. Kind of reminds me of those. Um, here's a nice one of uh, uh, finest in the Vikings. So this would have been his last finest card, 2010 MVP. Here's an 09 finest. So again, some more premium brands. Here's a 2000 Finest. Absolute. Nice SP. Earlier SP. I think that's 96, I want to say. Yep. Okay, here's another Top Stars. So here's the regular version before we had that promo one where it didn't have the foil on it. And it had the uh, Back to school up here. This is the regular version with the with the number on it. Okay, here's a red zone parallel. So it's foil and it's got the red border on it. A red siege, excuse me. <laughs> and then uh, a nice 99 ultra. So so far, I'm very pleased with this slot. Definitely value in there. Even got a rookie card to set aside for my album. The silver set, some all sport, some early Skybox Premium, more all sport. Upper deck. This is actually an insert, but they're extremely common, so they're not really not really valuable. These sell pretty well. These victory where he's in the rookie uniform. The Falcons, those do well. Here's a early SP, 94. 94 playoff. Here's another one of those Super Bowl card show. I don't think I have any in stock right now, so that's really, really nice. Um, advantage, it's just the retail version. 93 Stadium Club, Upper Deck Silver, some nice premium brand Flair, this is row 3, I believe, yep, row 3, and this is from 98, so I think row 3 is the least common, oh no, row 3 might be the most common, I think it's row 0 is the least common, there's a sweet spot, Nice, I like the Zenith. Some certified. Summit. Okay, here's another insert. This is Power Surge. Out of upper deck. These weren't numbered or anything, but any Favre insert for 15 cents I'm ecstatic to have. This one's really cool. This is the foil um like prize version. I don't I don't know how else to call else to say but classic to this game of the week thing in 95 and one of the games of the week was the Packers and the Vikings it was Moon versus Favre and then this was the later version of it where they actually had the results on there so they put some foil on it and then they stamp on the score so the Packers won 38 to 21 so you don't see these very often you normally just see the regular card without the score on it as a pro flicks or sport flicks, whatever you want to call it. Here's another insert. This is Pack Warriors out of Edge Triumph. Nice 
nice looking little insert there. Those sell pretty good from time to time. 93 select. Here's some more chrome. I think this is the regular one. Good. There's a promo chrome one from that year. These do extremely well. This 92 Pro Set MVP insert. This is MVP 20. This is, you know, technically his first year as a Packer. So kind of considered an XRC, if you will. Another insert, passing grade. You can see the numbering up there. So this is from 07, first edition. Upper deck, first edition. So there's actually two versions of this card. There's the regular one, and then this one that says first edition. So it's kind of cool. I don't even know if I have the first edition one. That might be a PC. This is really cool. This is first year Topps Chrome. And uh, this is 90, so this is 96 Topps Chrome. Um, and then this is the 3000 Yard Club. I just love the pattern and the texture in that first year Chrome. He's got Buy It Now for six bucks. I'm guessing that's what bin means. Or could literally mean bin, but. <laughs> um, so nice there nice first year of that premium brand so here's another insert this is 96 yeah 96 upper deck all nfl team little die cut some nice dufec chrome stuff on there here's this one this is a premium skybox premium 98 tops and this is also a promo card pp3 so pretty cool I like getting those promo cards just add a nice dimension to what you can offer and what you have for your PC is a another first year pro set it's just base card that time it's another insert fantasy team Got this nice little gold foil this is also out of triumph 98, I believe. 99. 99. And then we've got another one of those Roger Stocks Spellbox Football. And then a 98 Absolute. Which is a... Not a premium set or anything, but I don't see a lot of 98 Absolutes. I don't know if they just didn't print much that year or what, but... Um, and they do sell, too. It's upper deck. Score... Here's a gold passing predictor out of upper deck. So this was this is RP5. I think this is 95, 94 upper deck. Oops. 2010 tops. Can never go wrong with base tops. These you don't see them very often. Uh, Impact rookies, which was a, a set Skybox did for like one year. Um, Philadelphia Pacific. Those are nice cards. Down and dirty. Action packed. And those classics. Here's an early pro set, 93 pro set. Uh, cosigners. Those are. I always thought those were cool cards. I like the design. 96 tops. A great year for for tops. Here's an insert. Um, not a big one by any means, but a uh, 07 score franchise. I think this is 96, yeah. Pacific. This is a 95 Excalibur for Collector's Edge. An Omega. Just the base silver version. Honors, Dominion. I straightened my pile there a little bit. Um, this is the regular. Oh no, this is black label. This is 95 Collector's Edge Black Label, but it's got the gold foil on it, so that's kind of nice. Upper, here's a checklist. This is kind of cool. This is the um, sweepstakes form. So this was something that they had, I think Skybox had this in their packs. It was like an entry form thing for, um, I think it was like a quarterback club game, I think was what it was called. So you could enter the quarterback, yeah, quarterback club 98 video game sweepstakes. So I think 
there's yeah, a form you could fill out on the other side. So this kind of stuff is cool. These were inserts and packs. And uh, not a lot of people hung on to them for obvious reasons. I mean, there was a ton of them printed because I'm pretty sure there was one in every pack. Or close to it anyway. Um, but to hang on to it and have them in good shape, those are, those are great little finds. Here's another one of those quarterback clubs, but this is the silver parallel. So very, very in your face and silvery. <laughs> Um, but still, nice parallel. There's a 93 action pack, I believe. A 7 score, 10 contenders. Here's a fever insert. Same kind of thing. This was like a contest thing you could fill out. A bunch of different versions of these they go by at the games. Um, so I'm not sure if like he has to throw. Oh. He has to get 300 passing yards on November 6th of 2000. If he does, you fill this out and send it in. I'm not exactly sure what they send you. I can't remember. I think it was like a lenticular card or something. But, uh, yeah. Here's another one of those sweepstake en entry forms. Donruss, Tops. So you're going to get, obviously, a lot of, you know, low-end base, but... Those are good for auctions, and believe it or not, I do sell quite a few of them. I just sold two of these this past week on auction, so I'll take them. I can make more than the 15 cents on them. So this one's kind of cool. This is SP Signature Edition, so not as much printed as that. 2009. Any 2009 cards are definitely gold. 2000 Elite. Uh, they just didn't make much in 2009, um, and then he was retired for the second time from the Jets, so a lot of companies didn't bother making cards of him. And you thought metal, I like that. This is a um, the Star Quest uh, insert from Upper Deck Choice. Uh, this is, I think, this is a little insert. Yeah, well, maybe not. It's called Triple Threats. It's got him and Amon Green and, gosh, I don't remember who that is. Oh, Terry Glenn. These are these are great. These do really well. I get five, six bucks a piece for these. It's the Proline Hunter card. That's what I call it anyway. Um, yeah, very, very candid photo there. 95 action pack. Here's another Crash the Game. So another thing where it was a contest, if you hit certain statistics, you could send this thing in and they'd send you something back. 93 Pro Set. Here's uh, the uh, Limited, Skybox Limited, the die cut version. Yeah, here's the Players Club Parallel, so it's got the silver on it, silver foil here, and then the silver border. Off centered. <laughs> Alright, 96 Zenith. More action pack. Here's another insert. This is the NFC Inc. Out of score, I think this is 95. Yeah, 95 score. 95 so first year of uh, the shiny select, if you will. Select certified, I should say. It's a nice card. Tops. 99 MVP. Stadium clubs. More pinnacle. Tops. Tops. Um, these do pretty well. I sold a few of these. This is the headliner set, which is a special set of cards in 93 featured a bunch of different players. Um, I think Favre and got some damage to this top corner. Bummer. Um, but I think it was Favre and Drilling Sharp were the two from the Packers in that. These are kind of cool. This was a special set of uh, Super Bowl 31 cards the year after they won it. And these are actually numbered out of 5,000. This is the silver version. There's also a gold foil version. That's numbered out of 1,000, I believe. But, yeah, so pretty cool. And then this is the showcase out of Pinnacle. These do pretty well, too. This is a insert. It's got a nice little facsimile gold signature there and again a nice candid shot which a lot of collectors are looking for all right 
Now we're, we're coming down to the end here. So this is 2000. What is this? 2000 uh, for your tradition. These are nice. This is certified. So again, in 2008, not a lot of companies made cards. These cards were really hot and expensive back, and back when they were released. This certified Breath of Jet. So, and cards always hold memories to me for that. Um, 08 Bowman. Actually, this is 09 Bowman. Again, 09 cards do really well. Jets Uniform. 93 Edge. Tops Magic, one of my favorite sets. Um, Mystique. Another Decade of Excellence. Here's another one of those Fantasy Forecast. Color changing cards. Some MVP, here's some early experience in Skybox. Here's another insert Men of Autumn. Out of 93 Pinnacle, I want to say. I really liked the Pinnacle cards when I was a kid. I bought quite a bit of those. Uh, early SP authentic. It's another electric silver parallel. This is a 93 playoff, I think. Yeah, 93 playoff. Um, this one's pretty cool. This is the Skybox Premium, but it's the promo version. So the, the normal one has the Skybox Premium here, and then this has S1 on the back. So again, those those promos, things that are different, that's that's always what what you want to find. And then all those fever entry cards. Um, this is the All Pro Rewind. This is out of Upper Deck Century Legends. You don't see these a lot. They didn't print a lot of this stuff. This was from '99. And then this is a good one. '94 Pro Visions. Looks like it might be off top to bottom for centering, but these cards do extremely well. Insert there out of in Fleer. Here's a base version of one of those Century Legends cards. This is Supreme. Oh, this one's a highly underrated set in my opinion. Skybots Impact. It's got the great blocky lettering in the background. It's got the, sort of the exploding universe and the red rocks in the background. Just a great design. Very 90s. He's got 10 bucks on this thing, and <laughs> I don't know why, but so that's 90, uh, 97, best year of cards ever made, in my opinion. You'll hear that a lot on this channel. 96 Select Certified, nice premium. Brett Favre. Brett Favre. Um, here's a Monday Night Football action pack. I would like this card. Here's a pure silver version where the silver foil is actually real silver. And I, I do have one of those. Those are pretty hard to find. They're kind of not cheap. So. <clears throat> okay, and then we've got a Farb to Sharp there. I like that. This is 2000 Gallery, I think. Um, 2001 Tops Gallery. These do pretty well. Again, just very candid photos. A lot of people like that stuff for, for collecting. And I'm mostly appealing to the end buyer with what I sell. And then here is a 1995, 1995 Fleer Ultra. So we had one rookie card in there, a bunch of decent inserts, um, some premium base, some promo cards, some mail away stuff, some contest entry forms, and we had a pretty nice variety of stuff in there. 250 cards, you know, even if I got a, a buck a piece on them, and I spent. 36 bucks or 38 bucks, whatever it said there on the screen. It's pretty, pretty easy money. So, very happy with that. So that is all I have to open today. But I'm going to show you the um, my rookie card box. Let's get this kind of the rookie card album. Alright, so I wanted to show you one more thing. I just got this in today too, and it, it kind of goes along the same lines as the Brett Favre lot. Uh, this is a lot of Packer jersey cards. So I got 12 cards here for 
right around 22 bucks, I think, um, as you see on the screen there. So I was really pleased with this because it had a decent variety to it and uh, a, a couple of cards that I definitely know I can get some good money on. And at two bucks a jersey card, it, it's a kind of a no brainer. This first one is the Zoning Commission Greg Jennings. This is out of 2010 Elite. And this is Game Worn. Yeah. Game Worn, numbered out of 299. Next one here is another Greg Jennings. This is out of 35. This is 2008, I want to say. Yep, 2008 Upper Deck Football Heroes. Another game used one. And I got this one, Donald Lee. This is numbered out of 25, 22 of 25. It's got a couple of pieces of jersey here. So there's one there and one there. Um, and that's have actually got some two color to it. You can see the stitching there. So it's actually patch, which is good. Winning materials from SPX. And uh, same thing here, game used. Out of 2008, so a nice one there. Um, Phenom flashbacks, this is AJ Hawk, another two piece jersey piece there. Single color, but that's okay. Uh, this is Event Worn Trading Card. Because I think this was his rookie year. Um, I'll have to take a look at that. But anyway, AJ Hawk, of course, is co host with Pat McAfee um, on his show. So he has a little bit of a following from that. This was one of the, this card was one of the main reasons I bought this. I just sold a regular refractor version of this card with the basically the same green piece of jersey in it for 12 bucks 10 bucks 12 bucks something like that and this is actually that was just a regular refractor this is the black refractor numbered out of 50. And i think the regular refractor was out of 99 or 199 or something like that um so i think i can do pretty well on this i just noticed it looks like there's some strange pattern on the edge but Anyway, nice and shiny, looks good on the front. And then this one is a rookie Jordy Nelson jersey. Uh, nice big chunk of jersey there. This is going to be event worn. Yeah, I think it says it on the front. Event worn, of course, because he was a rookie. Sort of been at like the rookie preview or whatever, but this is 2008. So out of numbered out of 599, so pretty cool there. I did get two Favre jerseys out of this. This is the 08 Elite Stars, the gold. So it's got the gold foil on either side. Nice looking card there. Some shine. Game used, of course. And this one's numbered out of 100. And then this one is the base Bowman Sterling out of 2008. 2007. Bowman Sterling. Uh, game worn jersey piece there. I do have the refractor of this, but I don't think I have the base, so that might be for the PC. This one's pretty cool. It's um, It's got Paul Horning on the card, but the memorabilia piece is from Milwaukee County Stadium before they tore it down, so it's from one of the seats. Um, so they call it a reprint relic because it's based on his 1957 Topps rookie card. Kind of a stretch to call it a reprint, but <laughs> anyway... It's got the authentication sticker. I do like the back. The back is like the 1957 tops uh, back. So really cool card there. This one is unique. You don't see this a lot. But this is a Pro Bowl jersey swatch. Game used Pro Bowl. Um, back when they like actually kind of played a game. I, I think it's kind of a joke now. But um, anyway, of Marco Rivera. So... Alignment, you don't see that real often. And, uh, of course, it's game used. Um, and this is from 2005 Topps Bazooka, which is one of my all-time favorite sets. This one's cool. This is a triple threads, and again, an AJ Hawk. Um, 9 of 18, so super short that way. Nice picture. It's the green, it's got the green foil on it. It's the emerald parallel, which is why it's lower numbered. And then uh, this is a game-used card, too. 
So three nice pieces of green jersey on there. And last but not least, this game used jersey card of Donald Driver, uh, Packer legend. Um, this is from Upper Deck First Edition. It's a little bit more rare that way. And uh, of course, this is game used as well. So it's not numbered or anything, but um, cool. Very cool. I like it. So that's that. Not not bad for twenty two bucks. I think it was a I think it was a good deal. I easily got the value out of that, and uh, just a couple of unique pieces as well. So and I, as I've spoken before, I really believe game used jersey stuff is going to uh, explode in the future because you just don't see it in products anymore. And um, I don't think they're going to go back and cut up jerseys and make cards and do that kind of thing. So. Um, so I think if you can get them at the right price and, and less than $2 is definitely the right price, uh, you, you've got some good value there. So the only thing that's not in here is the Stadium Club Rookies. I have probably 15 or 16 of those. Um, and those are all in my to-be-graded box. Those just sell too much graded to not, not do that with them. So what I'm going to do is zoom out a little bit here so I can kind of show you. So I'm going to stand up the album here. So this is literally all an album of Brett Favre rookie cards. So it goes on pretty much forever. So now where did I get all these? Um, some I got as a kid just collecting. Some I got in packs. You know, some of this stuff is... From actually 91 and 92 things that I opened um, but many of these are from uh, buying collections um, getting them cheap at shows buying lots uh, stuff like that this is kind of like what you saw today and so I've just never sold any of them I started this album years ago and whenever I get you know, unless it looks like a, a 10. I think I've kept a few. I have some really, really clean um, 91 score, which they'll sell pretty well if they 10. Uh, I've, I've kept a handful of those in my to be graded stuff, but most of this is just once I get it, I throw it in an album. I can go back and look at these a little closer once, um, once there's the home grading app from PSA. So kind of some big news coming out the last couple days if you haven't heard but they're going to be releasing an app where essentially you can scan the card I think you have to be a PSA club member or something but you can scan a card and it sort of AI pre-grades it for you so I have a lot of cards that I'm going to do that with before I spend the money to, to get them graded so that's kind of where I'm at with that right now but so yeah, just page after page after page of our rookie cards. Lots of wild card rookies. I'd love to get some tens out of those. Those have gone up quite a bit in price. I think tens are like a hundred and hundred and twenty bucks now. So um, the classic ones, those are also hard to get in tens and sell pretty well. But yeah, it's just upper deck. Star Picks and Classic and Wild Card and Ultra. Um, Pro Set. Might be some ultra, there should be some Ultra Update ones in here. There's Pro Set Platinum. Action Packs. Just very repetitive, <laughs> essentially, of the same cards over and over and over again. But anyway, you get the gist of it. So I don't have all these pages filled, but there's probably probably 70 or 80 pages there times nine cards per page. I mean, you can do the math. That's a lot of card rookie cards. So anyway, I just thought I would. Uh, today was the appropriate video to to show that off a little bit, since again I've been asked a lot about it. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video.
please leave a comment if you've got something to say. Ring the bell if you want to be notified of future videos. And hit that like button. Uh, it helps me in that algorithm with YouTube so I can keep making videos. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon.